The Man We Want to Hang, documentary from 2002 by Kenneth Anger. Every time you turn on your television set, it's almost impossible to avoid the imprints of Kenneth Anger's influence on nearly everything that flashes across the screen. More widely known for his dishy Hollywood exposés, Hollywood Babylon and Hollywood Babylon 2, than for his influential body of short films, this maverick director, along with his contemporary Andy Warhol, explored the ways that commonplace images and objects can be subverted to project different meanings upon the mind. But Anger's most lasting and pervasive influence, to which everybody from Martin Scorsese and Wes Anderson to every non-reality television show is heavily indebted, is his innovative use of pop songs as the basis for a film soundtrack. The title, The Man We Want to Hang, comes from a newspaper headline, one of many that the tabloid press bestowed on occultist Aleister Crowley, whilst titillating their readers with lurid descriptions of orgies and black masses throughout the 1920s. Before the Second World War, it was still possible to label a self-aggrandizing magus as the wickedest man in the world. If only they knew what was coming. The paintings in the film were filmed in exhibition at the October Gallery in 1998, and Anger turns the original tabloid headline around by making the word hang refer to hanging in a painting, or hanging a painting. Crowley's crude artwork often turns up in books, but there are several pictures in the film which have not been come across before. Crowley's depiction of the Himalayas, for example, where he spent some time mountaineering in his youth. They look very similar to those paintings of Nicolas Röhrisch, the painter whose work H.P. Lovecraft references in The Mountains of Madness. It would have been nice to have some more information about the pictures, but of course, that was not Anger's style of directorship. I shall now leave you to enjoy the rest of Kenneth Anger's short film and the paintings of the wickedest man in the world, Alistair Crowley.